Hi guys, it's Huff. I am back again. This is going to be a quick roundup of a kind of project that I was involved in in September on Instagram um, that Polish Pony and um, Claire Gray, UK, uh, Nail Swatch UK, Nail Swatch Tower UK. I'll leave their YouTubes and their Instagrams linked down below. They did the thing called September Sapphires, where basically you were challenged to wear a different blue nail polish on your nails every day of September. Um, this was actually pretty easy because I have like 60 something blue nail polishes. So I, I basically didn't even really use half of them. Uh, anyway. Um, so I have 30 nail polishes in front of me. I will show you each one, tell you its name, show you a picture from my Instagram. Um, also, my Instagram is already linked, so make sure you go and check me out if you haven't already. And I'll just get into this, otherwise it's going to be a very, very long video. So first up, we have this polish from Saturn, which is number 18. It is called Went Yachting. It doesn't have the name on it, but looking it up, I found out that's what it's actually called. It's a pretty good nail polish for something that's less than $2 a bottle. It's, even in Australia, it's less than $2 a bottle. So that's pretty good. The second one I wore is Hollywood from Ultra 3, which is an Australian brand. This is an absolutely perfect TARDIS blue. Um, lots of shimmer in it. I absolutely love this one. Fantastic formula and not very expensive. Third, I wore Sinful Colors Rain Rubber, which is a textured polish. It looks a bit like rubber. Um, from Sinful Colors, uh, I think it, I've got like two textured polishes from They're not bad. Um, yeah. Then we have number four, which is um, Azure, which happens to be number four in the line of these Luster Shine ones. Um, it's kind of a nice blue colour. I wish the formula was a little better, but I love these ones. Then I wore Curtain Call from Sinful Colours. This is one of the Kylie Jenner Demi mattes. Um, it's got a really nice shimmer in it. It's actually a pretty nice polish. I was actually pretty impressed. This was actually an untried. I, I did get one untried in, or one or two untrieds in. Then I wore Come to the Well by Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer, which is a not currently in production Australian indie. This is a blue holographic and it is freaking gorgeous. Then I wore Essences. Uh, I heart my blue jeans, which is a matte dark blue. Good formula, good price, has everything going for it. Uh, then I wore this super duper old Sally Hansen Hardest Nails in blue raspberry, which doesn't look like much in the bottle, but on the nail it is fabulous. I love this nail polish. I've had this for donkey's years. I've used not quite half of it and it is still perfect. Then another of my untrieds was Dreamer from Revlon, which is a light, slightly dusty blue. It's actually a really, really nice polish. I, I liked this one. Then we have this Liquid Sands from OPI called Get Your Number. I like these. I just wish they had a bit more base in them. Um, like a bit thicker base to them. They're like a really jelly type of base and it doesn't apply as well as it could. You really end up needing like nearly three coats to get opacity which is not ideal with a textured polish. 
Um, but it is still really, really gorgeous, and it's got holographic bits in it, so that's always good. Then I wore my Sally Hansen Magnetic Nail Polish in Cosmic Blue. These work really, really well. I have several of these, and I quite like them. They're good magnetic polishes. I wore from L'Oreal this Notting Hill Blues. This is a mid blue with a lot of shimmer in it. It's also kind of like a Tardisy blue, but it's also got a touch of purple to it. Um, I love this, it's gorgeous. Then I wore this kind of different polish. This is from BYS, which get in Australia. Um, this is from their speckled line. This is called One Scoop or Two and it's a blue with blue and red and orange little flecky bits in it. It's supposed to look like confetti type ice cream. It's super cute. Then I wore an oldie but a goodie. The Sally Hansen Chrome Makeup in Aqua Chrome. I love this stuff. One coat, it's, the stuff is brilliant. Then I wore a Rimmel Lasting Finish Pro in Hard Metal, which is a sort of dark grey blue. It's a really interesting, lots of shimmer in it. It's a nice polish. Then I wore another Revlon. This is Blue Lagoon. This is another untried. This is a blue with a shimmer in it. And it is similar to another one that's in that I wore. But the shimmers in this are silver, silvery kind of colour, whereas the one in the other one's pink. But we'll get to that. This is nice nice polish. Then I wore Ulta 3's Blue Marlin, which is one of my favourite, favourite blues. It is this super duper bright blue. Slightly jelly-ish, but two coats, it's completely opaque. It's brilliant. I love it. Then I wore Maybelline Colour Show in Babe It's Blue, which has actually got quite a bit of green in it for a blue. Um, but again, it's it's a really nice polish. I really like the um, Colour Show polishes in general. Then I wore this one from Academy of Colour, which is a denim effect polish. So it's kind of like a denim-y kind of blue. It's actually got silver bits in it. It dries matte. Um, it's really interesting. It looks really interesting on the nails. We've got a few comments about how interesting that looks on the nails. Um, this is from Kmart. It's one of the brands that Kmart actually stocks, um, usually in nail art kits. So this one came with like um, fake zipper type things. Next from Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure, we have The Sky's The Limit. This is an absolutely fabulous blue. Really like this one, even though it constantly separates in the bottle. Next is Super Powered from Revlon. I know this is one of Polish Pony's absolute favourites. This is a dark blue with kind of pink and goldy type shimmers in it. Really interesting. That's from Spider-Man Collection. I wish I had the whole collection. I've only got two of them, but I love this polish. Then we have another one which has a Kmart brand. This is OXX Cosmetics. This is their blue. Um, they now name their nail polishes, but when I bought this, they weren't naming them. They would just give you the nail polish. Um, so this is a blue. This is again is like a Tardis blue, blue with quite a bit of shimmer in it. There's also a the bit of that uh, purpley kind of look to it, a bit like um, which one was it? A bit like Hollywood. It's not quite as dark as as Hollywood is. But it's oh, so gorgeous. Love, love, love.
And then we have one of my favourite blues of all time in the light blue category. We have Bright Lucite from Sinful Colours. This is a fantastic, not like light, light blue, but it's light and bright and um, as you, I've used quite a bit of it on like down here. And considering I have over 800 nail polishes, to have actual visible move on a polish means it must be good. Next we have Till the Cows Come Home from OPI, which is not really teal, it's actually blue, which is strange. Um, I like OPI polishes. This one is fine. It's not perfect, but it's not bad either. Then another Sinful Colours. This one is the biggest disappointment ever and Polish Pony will actually agree with me on this one. This is Cinderella. This is a blue, light blue with a pink shimmer to it, which is something that Polish Pony is actually obsessed with and it's because of this polish. It promises so much. It looks so good in the bottle, but on the nail it takes three or four coats to get full opacity and it can still be patchy then. It's all the, the blinding. Such a beautiful polish, if it would apply properly. Might be one of those ones that you, I think I tried it at one stage. I put on a coat of bright lucite and then put Cinderella at the top because they're actually very similarly coloured. So you just basically got the shimmer from Cinderella. We're almost there. Five to go. Then I wore from Essence the I Heart Trends ones in the darks. This is Indigo to Go. This is a very dark um, blue with a silver shifting kind of glitter that kind of is purple to gold almost, or pink to gold. It's really interesting. It's a really nice polish. I really like this one. Then we have from Essie, the, <laughs> one of the only Essies I own, uh, this is Beach Bum Blue. Mm, another reason why I don't like Essie, because I just, uh, I think it was like three coats to be opaque and even then it wasn't great and uh, it looks so good in the bottle. And it's a really pretty colour, it just doesn't work. I also don't recommend their cuticle oil, their apricot cuticle oil, because it actually makes my cuticles dry. Then we have from Jessica, we have I Am Strong, which is a very light blue with iridescent glitters in them. I think they're actually supposed to be holographic looking at it now. I can pretty much see every colour there. Um, the only problem is this is kind of weird and chunky looking and you need at least three coats and by the time you get to the third coat it's so thick on the nail it just looks bad which is really disappointing because it's such a great concept. It's kind of like um, Cinderella. It's another one where it's a beautiful colour it just doesn't work whereas um, which one is it? Blue Lagoon this one actually works. It's a similar kind of concept without the holographic, but the light blue with the shimmer, this one works. Whereas this one doesn't, unfortunately. Second to last, I wore the Designer Brands polish in Midnight Blue. I actually have about five polishes called Midnight Blue. If they're apparently not very creative. It's actually more of a TARDIS blue than a midnight blue. Um, it's actually not too bad. Um, I realise I have quite a few polishes that are blue with a kind of um, pinky kind of shift to them. Like, although the blue is slightly different, these have a very similar kind of shift to them. That was one thing about doing this, is I found out I have a lot of blues that are the same, or, well, not the same, very similar, there's so many shades of blue. And, and la 
last but not least is one of my absolute favourite blues. This is from Garde. This is Magic Nights. This is like beetle wing blue. Um, it does have a bit of a shift to that kind of pinky purple in it as well. It's not quite as good as the green one that I own of this, but it is still absolutely gorgeous on the nail. And that you put the first coat on and you just think, oh, this is like sheer and this is not going to work. You put the second coat on and you're like, holy cow, this is absolutely gorgeous. That's what this polish is. This polish is pricey though and they're kind of hard to find, but if you ever manage to find them, I highly recommend them. They're fabulous. So that was all the polishes that I wore for September Sapphires. Thank you to Polish Pony and Claire Gray for coming up with this. I had a really good time. I'm also getting on board with the one for October, which is the ABCs, mostly untried. Uh, goes along with a nail tag as well that Lisa Handy did. Um, so I'm actually going to leave doing the tag, which I'm pretty sure uh, Debbie... Sister Chick actually um, tagged me in. I'm actually going to leave it until I have finished doing all of these and then I'll do another another roundup type thing to do the same thing. So I can do the tag and round up what was on Instagram at the same time. So that's it for this video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there. Click the bell so if you want notification. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.